hello my lovelies welcome back to my channel if you are new here please do me a favor to subscribe so today we're gonna make a kara or kose to start with we have our pepper onion eggs and then we have our salt to taste and then maggi cube we're gonna use half of it or quarter of it depends on how much you're gonna make your um, kose or your kara and then that's our beans I've soaked it for almost two days just to make it easy for me to blend so that I will not take much time to blend it. I used the peeled beans. I bought the one which was already peeled and then all the black eye is out of it. Oh, that's a kitchen accident. I'm sorry guys. It always happened in the kitchen. So as you can see, it's already peeled but it still has the skin on it. So I have to wash it and then remove all the skin in it because with the skin when you blend it uh my sister you're not making a kara you're making something else so i'm gonna show you um the one that i bought i want to show you the label in case you want to buy some that'll make it easier yeah that's it tropical sun it's already peeled and you without the black eye so that's going to make it very easy for you to use yeah, it's just, I think it's £1.89 or something like that. Yeah, it's not expensive. And it's very good cool as well. You just have to remove, you know what I'm talking about, the skin. Yeah. So you just have to wash it until you get a clear water on the surface of your beans without skin. So I'm going to show you how to wash it. You just have to wash it like you're washing your, your handkerchief or your underwear or something like that. <laughs> I'm just joking guys so you just have to wash it make sure all the black eye together with the skin is on the surface of the water so now as you can see I'm gonna use my sieve to see I've already done some so that's why I, I want to show people how you're gonna do it because mostly people don't know that you have to do it this way so you have to just sieve it yeah it's very heavy but i have to do it yeah just have to see it and then you can see this is what i'm talking about yeah you just have to remove all this skin from the beans else you're going to eat something that will not i mean help you or will cause harm to your health or something like that so you just have to be careful keep on washing it and then keep on sieving it until you get a clear water on the surface of the beans. So I'm going to use my chopper. This is a new chopper, the old one. I mean, it just gets spoiled and then I have to throw it away. So this is my new chopper. I just bought it in Lidl. You can buy your own. I think it's £19 or £18. It's very, very good, guys. It does a lot of things. So I'm going to use it. Let's see how it's going to work. Yeah, this is, a. I mean, a different brand. So hopefully it works very good. So I just rinse it with water. It's new, but I have to do it. If you're in Africa, you know what I mean. So I'm gonna put in my blade. Yeah. So that's it. Now I have to add my beans, and then add my onion, and then one pepper. So that's my beans with the onion. You can see the onion down there. Yeah. So I'm adding three. And then I'll add one red pepper. Pepe, what is pepper? I'm a British, oh my god. Pepe. Yeah, you can see my onions. And then I'll add my pepper. Pepe, oh god. And then look close, look at the amount of water I'm putting. As you can see. Yep, that's all right. You don't have to put a lot of water. When you put a lot of water, you're not going to get it as a karaoke. kose. It will be something different. I mean, like different. When you 
add a lot of water it will be something different So as you can see I've changed my bowl, I change it because I have to beat up my kose with my wooden spoon or my whisk. Yeah, I need to beat it up to make it easy for me to fry without beating up your kose. When you fry it like that, I don't know how it's going to be. It will be, it will be something, I mean, to be very hard, you can't even chew it. So you have to beat it up until it rises up to make it very easy for you to fry it and then get the kind of course that you want yeah. so you will beat it up almost like 20 to 15 minutes depending on the amount of course that you want to do so as you can see i'm doing this i did this for 10 minutes because it's not that much yeah after that, we're gonna fry it. Putting it in my hot oil. I'm using this spoon to spread it in my hot oil. So that's my first one. Yeah, it depends on how you want it. So either in a square shape or a diamond shape, it depends on it. Yeah, this spoon is too big for me, but this is what I have. You can use other spoon. You can use your teaspoon or your ladder, anything. Yeah. I'm not adding egg to the first batch. Mmm, guys. Mmm. This is smelling so good. I wish you can have a bite to know what I'm talking about. It's smelling so good. It came out very good. It came out the way I wanted it to be. Guys, as you can see, I'm really struggling. I have to do it because I'm doing everything on my own. I'm the camera woman lighting, 
taking video taking pictures doing everything on my as you can see i'm really struggling but i have to do it i didn't get it the way i wanted it but that's cool and i have to be very very careful yeah because the oil is very hot so i have to be very careful to avoid any accidents yeah i have to take care of myself yeah safety first i have to do it that way as you can see i just turn off my heat my fire i just turn it off because the oil was very very hot yeah i don't want it to i mean burn outside and then cooked inside and then now you can see i just own it so i'm gonna add my egg i'm doing the egg section so i'm gonna add my egg to it i wish i can show you how i'm doing it but i have to be very careful because can hurt myself and I don't want any kitchen accidents so just do it the way that you want it just make sure you just turn your egg on top of your I mean your cousin yeah that's it guys so this is the outcome you want to try it looks so delicious So guys, I think you can differentiate between the one with eggs and the one without eggs. Yeah, that's the outcome. As you can see, the right hand side is without an egg and then the other side is with eggs. So that's the outcome. I think I did well. Rate me under the comment section. I don't know. I want you guys to rate me under the comment section. So hopefully, I think you give me a good rate. Just rate me um, from 1 to 10 yeah please don't forget to like comment and subscribe thank you see you next time until we meet again adios